Joseph Skiro, um, he's the Honorary Secretary of the Malta Map Society. Um, he's a cons conservator by um, profession. And of course, you can see how that would inform uh, one's map collecting. Uh, and uh, again, I won't steal his thunder by talking about his material, which I was about to do, having promised not to. Over to you, Joseph. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi, Joseph. Um, if you go, we go to the first slide. I thank Tom for this. He's showing where I, I live. And uh, Malta is in the center of the Mediterranean. It's actually um, in the um, in the narrowest part of the Mediterranean, and we are a population of 500,000 over an area of 300 square kilometers. And we are so much in the center of the Mediterranean that sometimes we're called Malta is called the navel of the Mediterranean. Um, uh, in this slide, we, um, Tom zoomed on the on the church, which we're going to, to see, which is Halmushi, which is in the center of the island. And you can see it from the outside there on that slide. And you can also see it on the inside. Now, that um, chapel was built in 1765. But the map, which I'm going to show you, we're going much further back in time, and we're going to 1691, when the Malta was governed by the Knights of, of, of St. John. And uh, you know, the Knights of St. John came to Malta in 1530 and left the island in 1798. Mark Rogers kindly showed us Valletta with his portrait of that ship schooner. Incidentally, that was probably by a Maltese artist, Nicola Camilleri. Anyway, this is a, an interesting uh, map because it is a manuscript map. It's a large map, and I think it is um, um, 55 by 80 centimeters. It's um, glued on two large pieces of paper, and then it was folded to be put inside a, a folder with a report. Unfortunately, the report is missing. It is tied uh, with a murder. So this map was drawn after a, a, a murderer sought refuge in that um, chapel which we're seeing um, at, at the center. The chapel is the medieval chapel um, which was there before the, the chapel which, which we have just seen in the previous slide. And uh, what happened was that this chap Filippo Fenech committed a robbery, and in the robbery, he killed the, the owner of the, of the shop he was robbing. And when he found himself in such a predicament, he went to hide inside the small chapel of the small hamlet called Halmushi. And he could do that because in those days, the, the churches uh, enjoyed um, uh, ecclesiastical immunity. We're still looking for immunity behind the mask nowadays, anyway. And uh, so when the authorities of the land noticed that he went to hide in the church, the governor of the island was the noble Testaferrata, um, sent the police to the area to suss him out. And what they did was, in front of the, of the small chapel, there is a, this um, uh, alley, and they hid inside that alley. Well, this Filippo, when he saw that there was nobody around, it was one Thursday afternoon, in, in the quiet of the evening, he took out his a bucket full of his personal um, remains <laughs> and to throw them out in, in the fields nearby. As soon as he came out of the of the church, he was shot at by the by by this by the police. And you can you can see there on the on the on the facade of the church the bullet holes which which hit which hit him and and the and the facade of the church. 
Unfortunately, this um, uh, chap was not killed on, uh, on the spot, but he was um, gra gravely wounded and he managed to crawl inside the church. <laughs> and with, when this thing came to, to be known to the ecclesiastical authorities, especially with the inquisitor, all hell broke loose. Now you have to know that in Malta, in those days, there were four authorities. There was the, the, the Grand Master, there was the Bishop, there was the Governor, who was just a Testaferrat always and the police, and there was the Inquisitor. Don't worry, all of them were autocratic, so you never stood a chance anyway. And uh, when uh, the Inquisitor saw what happened to this guy, he all had, as I said, broke rules, and uh, the Inquisitor wanted to do uh, an inquiry. And he called for um, Testa Ferrata, which he didn't go for because he was afraid of the Inquisitor. And the idea was because he had um, uh, abused his authority because the ecclesiastical authority was higher than the, than the, than the um, civil authority. And uh, when uh, this inquisitor did an on-site inquiry, this testaferrat, if you zoom out, prepared this map to show that he actually um, uh, shot at the person outside the church. You can see in front of the church, there is a, a parvis and a low parapet wall. Since that was also used as a cemetery, it was still um, uh, ho holy, holy um, uh, enclosure. But he said, I was, he was shot outside that area. Now, um, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, as I said, the, the, the report is missing. It's missing in the, Inquisit the inquisitorial archives in Malta. And there's supposed to be a copy in the Vatican archives, which also we cannot find. So this is a, the primary source of what happened in, uh, on, that, uh, on that 26 July, 1691. Remember this date, six, 26 July. And this is probably, uh, no, no, go back. Go back to the now. This was probably commissioned by Testaferrata, and he, um, uh, as you can see, it's a ridiculous map to to uh, to have a sketch map of this sort in such uh, in such detail in such artistry. I think that Testaferrata, who was a nobleman in Malta. Um, wanted to prove also his, his power, especially his financial power. And uh, he commissioned this map. Uh, actually, um, it's a very uh, nice map because uh, it was, as I said, done by uh, an architect. And I, I believe it was Lorenzo Gaffa. And as you can see that there are architectural items in it. For example, the legend is on an architectural plinth. The, the, the scale uh, below is also uh, um, an architectural plinth. You see, there's the legend of what happened. And so we know a lot of, uh, of the persons who were, in. and then there's also the, the, the plan of, of, the, of the church with, in a gonfalon with, with tied to the ends. So it's a very beautiful map. It's, You're on your nine minutes. Yeah, it's also important because this map um, also shows as you said, as I said, it's 1691, and it shows the vernacular architecture of the period. If we go to the next one, however, the story doesn't end here. A friend of mine comes to my house to see this map, and he and I told him that this was connected with a murder, and it happened in 20, on the 26th of July, 1691. He said, "You're wrong. I've been to the Vatican." And um, I've seen the, 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 the case of Halmushi, and it was 1745. What happened was that this was another case um, of another murderer who sought refuge in this, in this church. 
And this is the church which we, we saw, it's still there, which we saw in the picture in the first slide. And as you can see, that is what he called a sketch, not the, the one like the, um, but the coincidence is that they both happened on this 26th of July, but 54 years apart. This is in the Vatican archives. The other is in my collection. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, amazing. we know where we know where not to go to seek refuge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and not to, not go to Halmushi for sure, <laughs> because yeah. they are all killers, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Joseph. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but Malta is the only place um, to be awarded a medal. Yes, um, it's holder of the George Cross, which is equivalent of both the Victoria Cross uh, and the U.S. Medal of Honor. Uh, but for civilians. Yes. Uh, that's always my main uh, Malta fact. <laughs> uh, again, put your uh, questions, please, uh, in the chat stream. But uh, because the 10 minutes have finished, we're going to continue now with Dr. Stephen Nagler. <laughs>